Hi, hi, hello, and welcome to this review. It only took me a year to produce. Anyways, I am almost tested all the art mediums I own. Naturally, I'm not proficient with all of them, but I wanted you to be able to see exactly what this sketchbook can or cannot take. So here are some timestamps so you can check out all the specific materials you care about. And well, let's get started. On to the specs. This book currently retails for around 19 Swiss francs, uh, which is roughly 22.5 US dollars or 20.5 euros. This sketchbook has 190 pages, which are a lot, and they're around 19.5 by 19.5 centimeters big. And the paper weight is 140 GSM. So yeah, pretty thick. The book claims to be able to handle all media. It doesn't even say mixed media, it says all media. The cover is pretty sturdy and made from cloth and cardboard as it seems like. However, it gets dirty pretty quickly. Another pro in my eyes is the fact that it has none of those like stupid glued together pages. And it lays flat. I'm definitely missing an elastic or a pocket or a little marker ribbon though. Not that that's not an easy fix, but you know. Another first medium which I'll discuss. Uh, let's start with fine liners. They work fine. I have no complaints actually. Lines are nice and crisp and the color is true to the fine liner. Alcohol markers though, not a great experience. They feather a lot which makes it very hard to be precise and it goes like crazy. I'm low-key surprised that they didn't blew through onto the next side though. Gel pens are a little mad too. They tend to skip more often than on other papers and they go through as well, but I expected that at that point. I was honestly surprised that the brush pen worked so well. It didn't feather and there was no ghosting. All in all, quite enjoyable to use on this paper. I used acrylics to cover up the alcohol marker bleed through, uh, which worked pretty well as expected. I feel like as soon as you have quite thick paper, acrylics just always perform decent, at least in my experience. At first I was worried about the amount of wrapping the humidity caused to the paper, but it kind of almost flattened itself back out. Like I didn't even put weights on it and it's almost flat again. Still a little buckled, but you know. Onto gouache, I quickly noticed that this paper doesn't like wet media at all that much. So not the best, pa best paper if you dilute your paint a lot, but if you work thickly, it's fine. The masking tape didn't work in areas where the paper buckled a lot, like the paint kind of went underneath the tape. Not everywhere, just where there was especially a lot of paint. Ballpoint pens work just like normal. They're buildable, they don't smudge, and they work smoothly. I have no complaints about ballpoint pens yet. I mean, ballpoint pens are not hard to cater to with paper, I feel like. Water-based markers are quite vibrant and blend well, but the Paper doesn't really take many layers without peeling. I only have one Posca pen, but by using it for some highlights, I noticed that they aren't too opaque and it will definitely peel the paper too. Naturally, watercolor didn't work too well either. The paper buckled like crazy and took ages to dry. The colors, however, turned out quite vibrant. Ink buckled a lot too, and the paper wasn't happy about me layering it. 
as it started to peel after a few layers. So basically the same like watercolors. Masking fluid was quite alright too, unlike the tape it held onto tight. Neo colors were pretty okay, but I had to press quite hard and layer for a while to get vibrant colors. Graphite worked fine. Many layers are possible, but they definitely need some building up to get really dark. Blending is easy too, which means it's much easier though. With colored pencils, it works very similar to pencils. They even erase surprisingly well, but the grain of the paper will always be visible. Now I guess that's up to personal preference, if you like the grain showing or not. Charcoal works wonderful. It easily blends and layers well. I was able to get quite dark with ease, and lifting it with a kneaded eraser works very well as well. Oil pastels perform well on this paper too. They're vibrant and adhere well. Blending is quite easy too, and the paper takes the layers. So, in conclusion, uh, all in all, it's quite clear that the paper works wonderful for all kinds of dry media, but as soon as water comes into the play, it's struggling. Peeling and feathering and ghosting after only a few layers, and while masking off specific and while masking off specific areas is isn't easy either. If you like reviews, sketchbook tours, or other art content, I recommend you subscribe and stick around. I really hope to see you again in two weeks. I wish you a wonderful time. Until then, bye.